<laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> Fantastic talent. It's um, it's really a joy. I feel honored. And I'm just going to take this coat off here. Yeah, baby. Yeah, looking all right? Am I looking all right? Yeah. I'm trying. You know, it's 23 months. I'm living. I'm transgender. I'm living as a full-time female for 23 months. How am I doing? All right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really in a combination stage, you know, so much so that I'm always recognized as transgender, and I guess that's okay, 
like maybe um, that's the way it's going to be. I'm trying to improve my way about myself. Like maybe, I don't know, does this work with this? <laughs> I don't know if that really works, but I do it. Um, but I'm really working on it. So um, I was at, at a corner on Charles Street in 7th Avenue a few weeks ago with a transgender friend of mine. And there were these two women behind us. And I could hear them. And me and my friend were laughing. And we were having a good time. And we were so happy being girls. And the whole bit, it was a nice day. And then I heard this woman say, she was right a foot behind me, say, they're all over the place now. And I thought, oh, it's like she deflated me right away. I thought, oh, that's what she, th the they, they used that word they. Like, and then I thought, well, maybe she's talking about that group of white people over there. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I turned around and she, you know, she wasn't black and she wasn't Latin or Asian or Filipino or any of the other things. And she was talking about us, you know. So, uh, talking about pronouns, really, to really do a good job of being a friend to a transgender person, always try to use the right pronoun, like he or she. You know, use the right pronoun. Also, use the right form of address, like a title, like Miss, Ma'am, and Mrs. And Mr. No, but for me, always use Miss. Because this makes me younger. <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> 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 Francisco. Okay, Francisco will be first. But anyway, for the debates tomorrow, I heard that there's video out that may be damaging to Romney and to Barack Obama. And they supposedly, I don't know if it's true or not, there's video of them wearing their wives' clothing and their wives wearing their clothing <laughs> at two different events. So I played that out of my head and I said, you know what, maybe they're really trying to get that swing vote, like there's a huge, huge transgender population now, and maybe they're really vying for that. So I, I went on my computer and I thought, well, let me see how that would really look, you know? I don't know, it's kind of dark in here, but maybe you can see this and see yeah, moving if, the they really, if they really could pull it off. So if Barack Obama feels he can get more of the women's vote by perhaps dressing as Michelle, and Michelle might influence the vote, and vice versa, they figured, who would make out better? And I'll poll, we'll poll it here and see who's going to win tomorrow <laughs> by judging this. Okay, so now here's Barack Obama. Uh, right? Barack Obama. And now this is if Barack Obama had her hair, you know, and wore her clothes. And now this is Michelle, uh, Michelle Obama, sort of on his side. But, but when you look at it, they look pretty good, though, right? They look pretty good. She would make an okay guy, a little fruity, but. And he would make an all right girl need some eye makeup and stuff like that. But now look at that's the Democratic candidate, by the way, tomorrow's debate. All right? Now, he's the president right now. And he's up for re-election. Now, here's how the opponent named Mitt Romney looks, and his wife's name is Anne. And then I want to point something out about this. Now, this is Mitt Romney. Looks a little defensive here. And there is Mitt Romney in his wife's clothes. You know, I don't know if you want to see that a little closer. Uh, it may be more laughable if it's closer. And then this is his wife, Ann Romney, oh. on his clothes. Now, I don't think it really works. Now look at them both together. Now you judge who would appeal more to transgender people. <laughs> <All right. laughs> this one or this one? So, wah, wah. applaud for this one. <laughs> applaud also because you'll get on the video. And look
like I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm for this one. That was applauding. <laughs> so that's, uh, so, you know, being transgender, oh, my time is up already. All right, thanks a lot. Glad to be here. All right. Talking about um, being a transgender person, Steve Covey, he passed away a few months ago, but he had this book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. So I went back to those seven habits and I tried to apply them to transgender, and it said, one of the habits, I think it was habit two, said, begin with the end in mind. So, no, not that end. <laughs> not that end. You know, by the way, this end, I did lose the K on this end, you know, um, or P, whatever. But uh, begin with the end in mind. So, my end is, 26, 28 year old, pretty girl, cute girl. You know, that's my end. That's, I know that's not really going to be very possible. <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Great to be here. <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> Some people want to be more sensitive to transgender people. So one way to do that is think of words, and I'm going to put these words in your mind so when you hear them again, like the word transcontinental, don't think of like an airplane flying across the land in your mind. Think of, in a hotel, you get a breakfast that's coffee, Danish juice, delivered by a transgender person. So that's your transcontinental. <laughs> and then, or you can think of transpose, you know, when you transpose something. Well, think of transpose, you know, like a way a trans person would pose. <laughs> or, you know, you, you could transcribe. It's a writer who's transgender. So as you're using these different words in your life, you will as assume or bring back an image of a transgender person. And that might help you to deal better with people as, as it does when I'm dealing with say, a black person. If I see one black person, I see it makes me feel better dealing with other black people. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Just laugh. <laughs> Alright, <laughs> here we go. Not the part about me masturbating the boots that you get here. Alright, coming to the stage, lovely lady, put your hands together for Francisco! Woo! Thank you so much. Glad to be here. I'm here from New York, and a friend of mine said, You gotta go to CIC. So, uh, I'm staying at the downtown hotel, the Marriott. And I drove over here with a cab, and, uh, and I'm here, and I'm so glad to be here. And then I met Kate and Mark and the group of you. I've been living as a transgender woman now for 21 months and 17 days, and it's great. I love it. I absolutely love it. I wish I could. <laughs> You know, transgender, some people are still not really clear about it. Uh, transgender means a lot of different things. For me, I still live with my wife and my 28-year-old daughter, so I think that's pretty cool. And um, you know, maybe this analogy works. 
if you go from, say, a worm to a chrysalis, which is like a little cocoon, to a moth, and then to a butterfly, well, you know, like a frenetic moth and a beautiful butterfly. Well, I'm sort of in that combination stage. I'm like part moth, <laughs> part butterfly, like graffiti on my wings. One wing is bigger than another. It's not really working. I still got a little bit of worm left, you know. So, it's, so I'm sort of in this in between. Some people go from male to female. Some go from female to male. I don't think I'm going to go from male all the way to female. I sort of like it in this middle ground because I have like the best of both worlds. See, as a man, I was a CPA and really good at math. And as a woman, I think I'm more creative, more sensitive, and I'm really concerned about people knowing my age. So let's say, um, so I came up with this idea because I'm a combination man and woman. So I called on the math side of my brain, the male side. And I said, what am I going to do about this? Let's say I'm 52. Let's just, for argument's sake, say I'm 52. We had another comedian who was 30. I love that. Oh, I, I think you can hear me better, maybe. Um, so let's say I'm 52. You know, rounding, you know, you go from 45, you round, if it's five or more, you round up, you got 50. You have 167,000, you round up, you have like 170,000 those kinds of rounding, I, but why not round down with a catch-up? So here's how it works. I'm 52, let's say I'm 52, I round down to 50, then I take off 10 years, because what's a decade? You know, <laughs> so now I'm 40, and just, you just borrow one more, so now I'm 39. 39 is so much better than 52. And then I figure, that 13-year difference, I'm going to make up at the other end. So when I'm, let's say, 81, uh, people ask me, how old are you? I'll say, I'm 94, and they'll say, oh my god, you look so great for your age. <laughs> you know? So I got to kind of both ways. You know, being transgender, you got to be really, you know, if you have transgender friends, if they're going from male to female, call them she or her, miss, you know, don't use he, him, mister, you know, it's very, Disconcerting. So anyway, I was at CVS the other day, and I'm standing in line. You're about are there CVS pharmacies around here? Yeah. Yeah. And I'm standing in line. I'm about there's about six people in front of me. There's about another 15 feet to go, and then there are four registers. You know, with women at the register. So I figured I, it's time to do my email. So I had my head down, and this woman's calling out, Miss, Miss, and I'm not hearing her. It was my time. Guy from behind me taps me on the shoulder said, Miss, you're up. I'm thinking, oh my God, this is so great. The girl at the register's calling me Miss. The guy behind me says Miss. They must think I'm a young woman. You know, it's my, I, I, my ambition. And the whole place knows they hear Miss. They take me for a woman. As I go up to the register, I must have gained like a year for each foot because the woman said, um, oh, hi, ma'am. CVS card? And so then I said, I don't have my CVS card. I said, How can I give you my phone number? And she says, Oh, yeah, uh, sure. What is it, sir? <laughs> so I went from miss to man to sir. All in, all in like two minutes. So that's just a cautionary thing. I think my, my time is up. I love being here. I'm going to come back here. And Jim Madrinos. Who's yeah, a, Jim. Jim is a popular comedian, and he uh, referred me here. So give him, give him uh, a <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Francisco. Hey, Next what? up, coming to the stage. <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> 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 Those of you who think that uh, I'm a little mannish, uh, 
Uh, I'm not really, I'm not really a woman. <laughs> yeah, anyway, I'm a man and I'm transgender. And I want to share, for some people that's a little upsetting, you know, or for my mom it was upsetting. My mother's 84, she has Parkinson's, she has two caregivers that are there 24-7, and unfortunately she's not doing too well. And this, I think, has maybe put it over the, over the cliff for her. <laughs> and, and so sometimes she calls me. She doesn't like even though she's, she'll say, Frankie, Fran, Frank. She, 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 she doesn't even know my name, you know, sometimes. And I really feel bad that I'm putting her through that. It came to a head sort of today. <laughs> Just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, I'm Francisco, glad to be back, I haven't been here in so many months, it's so great to be back here. Um, for those who don't know, I'm transgender, you know, and I've been transgender for 21 months and one day, and so I just want to say it's really good on this side of the fence. Uh, it, you know, grass is greener on the other side of the fence. It took me like an airplane in a parachute. The fence was so high, but I'm here. I like it. I love it. And I want to let you know that I'm very sensitive to transgender issues. <laughs> just laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and I really need to get more love from people and I find that the more people who understand about transgender you may have transgender friends but they may be some minority of transgender so I brought a physical aid with me that I think might help in explaining a little bit about transgender so, so I'm going to ask four questions. Uh, can everyone see? I should bring it back a little bit. Okay. So I'm going to ask four questions of the male, then I'll ask of the female, and then I'll ask of the transgender woman. Notice that she's a little more glamorous. She has the longer hair, the, the, hoop, the hoop earrings, a little more makeup, a bigger smile, a little mascara. You know, this girl is cute, but she just, you know. And uh, so anyway, so let's ask some questions, all right? So I'm going to ask this first question is, how old are you? And he's just going to, you know, whisper to me. <laughs> just laugh. <laughs> I've been living as a, as a full-time female now for 23 months. So how am I doing? Am I doing all right so far? You know, I really love it. You know, I love living as a female. My wife hates it, but, but I love it, you know. Just laugh. <laughs> Samuel, I'll leave you that thought. Thank you, you've been a great audience. Oh, well, I'm sorry, so yeah, so sorry. Do, you want, do you want to kiss your first transgender? Your first... <laughs> a little bit. Okay. Oh, oh, this is gonna get this is gonna get crazy. This is, uh, oh, breast sweet. to breast meeting. Oh. <laughs> All right, give it up for this. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, thank you. <laughs> Just laugh. Yeah. <laughs>